Sonoff, one of the best Wi-Fi switches out there. Cheap and reliable and compatible with Google Home and Alexa. How it works and how to install it, it's today's topic. The very basic Sonoff comes in a little box like this one. Inside you have the module, a paper with installation instructions and some screws. On the sides of the module you have the input and output. The input goes to outlet and output goes to the device you're using. A light bulb, blender, coffee machine, basically any device that's not over 10 amps. I will make an extension cord so I can plug in any device I need to. I've cut to the right size my wires and now I'm stripping them so I can plug into input and output. I now secure them with two screws. Repeat the process again for the other side. Now on the input side I'm putting a plug and on the output side an outlet. And we're done with this part. In order to control it, you need to install an app on your phone. So go to Play Store or Apple Store and search for an app called Ewe Link and install it. If it's your first time using this app, create an account. I will just log in to my account. On your first screen, you'll have a button named Add. Click on it and choose Quick Pairing from the list. It will ask you to choose one of the available Wi-Fi networks. This way the app will transmit your module the Wi-Fi credentials. Now before clicking Next, make sure you plug in your module. Since it's the first usage, it's automatically in pairing mode. Now you can click on Next. The software will automatically search for your device. In a few seconds you should have a confirmation message and it will ask you to give it a name and add it to a room. Click on done and in a few seconds everything should be working. Go ahead and click on the power button. You should hear Sonoff clicking. 
Now if I unplug anything in my plug, I can turn it on and off directly from my phone. But how about making it work with Google Assistant? Well, that's easy. Just go to your Google Home app, click on the plus sign, then set up a new device, and then click on have something already set up. Now search for eWiLink Smart Home and connect to your account. Google will automatically import all your eWiLink devices. Now you can say OK Google, turn on and the name of your device and everything should work. Google, turn on the lamp. Got it, turning on the lamp. OK Google, turn off the lamp. OK, turning the lamp off. I really hope you've learned something useful today and if you're interested in this kind of stuff, please consider subscribing. It will give me positive feedback so I know I need to make more content like this. See you soon!